Alright, welcome back. This is another uh, ComfyUI workflow showcase video for uh, this. This one is for a control net builder. Uh, Militant Hitchhiker built this one and he uh, wanted me to show it off for you. So um, basically all it is is a control, like you just upload a video, any video. So preferably like a person video. Um, I don't know you know person workflow and then basically you just it'll uh, go through all these uh these uh, nodes here for control net so it'll go through uh, just regular video and then open pose line art depth map you know, soft edge all all these uh lines um i'll show those later um but uh so this is the base one it's just basic you just choose your fps and then uh, upload the video but uh, I actually modified this one a little bit just to make it a little bit easier so if you don't want to just wait for it because it takes a little while to run through all these but so uh, w what I did is I basically uh, modified it I spent a lot of time probably way too much time for it does the exact same as this one but now you can actually just choose which uh, which nodes you want to use so like if I only wanted to use you know the uh, video line art depth or whatever you know uh, so that's what these are. So if you just, you know, when you queue it, that's just all it runs. And then uh, basically I added these, uh, this uh, uh, set the uh, video resolution. So I have that here. So I uh, set the video resolution. Um, it, to turn that on, you just hit this button. But uh, yeah, that's it. Um, and then you can just set the re resolution here. So you can set it. Or you can just, you know, leave it off and then it'll use your initial video. So that's that's pretty good, and then uh, it'll basically just run through all these for control net, and then uh, basically you'll have con a control net for all of these. There's some really cool ones here. There's like uh, some mask ones, uh, mask like line art and mask, you know, like some really. Like, I'll, I'll actually show those here. Um, let's pull those up here. So we got like uh, I'll just do this. So um, here's the, here's a few of them. So it's a it's the dancing lady this one that I added to here, but you basically get a bunch of these So this is the regular one and then uh, this is just the mask so you get the masked one and then you can put basically um, You can do this with any video with like an actual person So that's really cool. And then uh, here's a liner. I think this is the LS D lines I don't really know what this one is. It looks like it's just straight lines and then here's one with the mask. So uh, you can actually use this these workflows or these um, control net uh, videos in other workflows. So if you want to like, you know, put some AI effects on her or whatever, you know, like it's really really creative. This is a masked one. It's it looks like it's a low resolution one, but uh, basically if you uh, modify the uh, see the empty latent, you can modify the empty latent or uh, you know upgrade the uh, Resolution, I think, uh, the empty light tint, and then maybe, I think it's for colors. Uh, line art, I think you can upgrade the, uh, resolution. So if you want, like, a higher resolution for these, you could just upgrade the resolution there. And then, uh, yeah, so, uh, what I did was I added all these group notes. So it's, uh, RG3, fast group. So that's basically what this all is. And then, uh, I added this just a resolution uh, setter. I got this from another workflow actually, um, for, from uh, Jerry Davos actually uh, had this in one of his workflows, and so uh, he uh, basically all it does is it gets the uh, video. I, I use I started using get it sets because they added it to Comfy, so it's not it you know it's it's default in Comfy now, so it's just like there's no reason to have all these lines all over. I mean in some places you don't really need it. Uh, like, um, you know, like, I could have just brought this over, or the frame rate, where's the frame rate? What do I do with the frame rate? Oh, it's up here. I guess, I mean, I could have just dragged it down here, but, uh, so it kind of cleans up the, the, you know, the video a little bit. Uh, these ones, you know, I could have, I probably could have used, like, you know, getting sets for these things, but I figure if you want to add more, you know, workflows on there, you can just drag it onto there. It might be a little bit easier, especially because it's taken from both sides. And um, if these are inside of here, it'll get muted by the uh, by this thing if you mute it. So that's another thing to think about. Um, yeah, I spent a lot of time. I spent about two days like trying to just add in this stuff. Just 
um, experimenting. I was trying to figure out like a more efficient way to do a lot of the stuff, but I had a lot of errors or like issues where like, uh, like I was trying to figure out how to do like a like activate the frame rate so I could either use the default frame rate from the uh, load up or the load video node, but it ended up not really working too much for me, so I just left it default for this. But uh, hopefully, you know, I've been kind of messaging the guy that makes these video uh, nodes, so. Maybe we'll get some new features within like, you know, a month or two. So that would be really cool. Um, yeah, so that's just about it. I mean, it's, it, it'll be, this is, I mean, this is like a really basic workflow, but it's really useful. I think, I think a lot of people would really think this is useful. If you don't like know like how to do like a lot of image to like a video to video type stuff, you can use a lot of like video and then you just take the one of these control nuts and then you can do some really cool effects on some you know bigger workflows and so that's what this one basically is it's pretty pretty cool so yeah um yeah so thanks uh thanks for watching i'm gonna hopefully upload another one later or uh if you have any suggestions for workflows or uh you uh you know if you want me to improve your workflow that's uh I, you know, I can try and do that. I mean, uh, hopefully I don't spend as much time next time, but there's also this guy, uh, Steven Tool. I was watching his videos. He uh, shows some tutorials on how to use RG3. So um, I would suggest going and checking this guy's videos out. Um, he, he spends a lot of time on that, and it's uh, pretty useful to go through and look, look for that kind of stuff. So, yeah. All right. Thanks. Uh, also, uh, you know, subscribe for uh, if you want to see, keep seeing more of these showcases or, you know, just subscribe if you want to see some more stuff. So, yeah, thanks.